Okay, so I would like to give you a walkthrough of uh, one of the Windows Phone 7 devices that we received uh, recently. So this is the device. Then if you power it on, this is the startup experience. As you can see, it actually loads pretty quickly. Uh, compared to some of the other smartphones in the market today. Okay, so this is a new device, so the first thing I'll ask you to do is to uh, get started. So I can go ahead and click here, get started. Okay, then it'll ask me to select my language. They don't have English Singapore here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on English United States. All right. Uh, it realizes that I don't have a SIM card in here, but which is fine. I can still proceed. Um, don't worry about that. It's asking me something about uh, OB self-host. I think this is only because this is a test device. So, next. Um, they ask you to accept the terms of use, accept. Then it will ask you next to whether you want to configure your Windows Phone using recommended settings or with custom settings. So in this case, I'm just going to set it with recommended settings. All right. Then it will ask me to set the time zone. For this one, I do have a lot of choices to choose from. So. Let's see. Is there U is there UTC plus eight, which is where Singapore is? Yes, here you go. Kuala Lumpur in Singapore. So go ahead and select that. Next. Ask you for the date and time. Um, well, I'll change this later, but for the time being I'll say okay. Click on next. Then it will ask you to sign in with a Windows Live ID. You don't have to do it right now, but uh, a lot of the stuff that you need to do with the Windows uh, Phone 7 requires a Live ID, like the Zoom Marketplace, Hotmail, Messenger, or Xbox Live, and so forth. So, but in this case, we're not going to do it, so let's go not now. And we're done. Click on Done. Then it brings me to the main interface, which is something that uh, most of you have already seen already. So I can go into settings. Then you can see because this is just a prototype device, it still has some of the stuff like the system info and stuff like that, and performance tests and whatnot. Okay, so this is just a walkthrough of the startup process of the Windows Phone 7 device.